I'm Loren from Once Upon a Loren. Uh, my website is onceuponaloren.com and I give new life to old leather. I do that by hand painting vintage leather jackets with original designs. Leather jackets are pieces of clothing that required immense amount of fossil fuels, animal byproduct, feed, water, effort. And so if we can reuse them and give them another life, if they were even loved in the 50s, 60s, or 70s, and now we can get a whole other generation out of them, I think that's even better. I source a lot of vintage leather jackets at consignment shops, flea markets. eBay is a great resource um, because it's full of things that people haven't worn for a decade but have kept in their closet. Beautiful you know, vintage leather jackets that they're looking to give a new identity to. Sometimes they want um, their monogram on a jacket, a personal slogan, really anything that speaks to someone's personal identity, something that goes with a dress they really love. People are just looking to have a piece that's theirs and doesn't exist anywhere else. I let the jacket speak to me. Sometimes there's a personality that I think is waiting to be brought out. Other times there's a color combination I'm dying to use or a pattern I'm dying to use. Um, I've had a lot of success doing these sort of skulls made of flowers because it balances that sort of sweet and edgy feel. I want everyone who's wearing these jackets to feel really special. So in most of them, I hide little hand-painted notes on the inside lapel that say, you look great today. Hey, gorgeous. You're beautiful in this. Something just a little special that really only the person wearing the jacket will see that just makes them feel a little extra great. When I'm painting, it really comes down to two materials, old school chalk, like the kind you used to write on chalkboards, and um, a leather paint. I use Angelus leather paint. It's an acrylic-based paint that won't crack or peel, but will wear with your leather as it ages. My advice for anyone wanting to get into design is practice. I'm not a professional. I did not go to art school. All I have is a lifetime of putzing around arts and crafts, and I happened to find something that people responded to. So it's really about practicing your craft and then finding a way that you can share it with other people.